the stage is set for another stirring season. For Gonzaga's opponents, at times, it is almost tragic, the depth they have to deal with. But for all the versatility the Bulldogs bring, no one shows range like senior Stephen Gray and sophomore Kelly Olenek. His name is Romeo. Playmakers unlike any Shakespeare might have imagined. Yes, better sir, you lie. <laughs> they're here because they're here to work and they do very well. I think they do very well in the show. I personally am really happy that they come do it because they're both great at it. They are just salt of the earth, um, wonderful people to work with. I, I think a, a tremendous asset to our production. Thou consortest with Romeo. A headliner on the hardwood transformed here into Tibble. Thou art a villain. Rival to Romeo. He is a hot-headed individual who is always looking to fight. <laughs> and a seven-foot rendition of Abraham treading new boards. Do you bite your dog at us, sir? We started putting Kelly in, and he was just stealing the stage, like taking one from what he was doing, and two, because he's so huge. It's a whole different world, basically. People, different people, different settings but I really like, I really enjoy it. I mean, it really is like a whole nother team. I mean, you're all working for the same goal to put on this great show. You have all these people audition for certain parts in the play and you're just throwing together, you know, that last little bit and how quickly you sort of bond and how welcoming they were to have me and Kelly come into the play. And I found our cast just to be very, very embracing, very understanding that those guys are doing something that advances the university over here. And then, as soon as they're done, they hustle across campus and put themselves to work here, advancing the university in this way. From Magnuson Theater to McCarthy Athletic Center, teammates who hit the mark no matter the playbook. What? Drunk and talk of peace? I hate the word, because I hate hell, all parts of you, and the I got coward. It's very difficult. Uh, one night when we were, uh, had been here for about three hours, working on fights. I heard Stephen Gray packing his stuff up and he was saying to uh, one of the other actors, like, that's as hard as practice. And I know from my own experience, it is. Working with Stephen was great. I mean, he obviously being an athlete, he he's kind of knows how to move his body, how to do everything really well. And he really gets into it. Uh, and I do too. So it's all, our, I always thought, I mean, our fight was really just really cool. Characters like Tybalt and Mercutio, those are the characters that really know how to handle swords. <laughs> We just slowly pick up the speed to where you can really feel like, oh, I have to block here. And you can think about what my character, how my character is engaging in these fights. You know, it's so funny to just, you know, be trying so hard to hate someone on stage. And as soon as you get off stage, you know, it's, it's hanging out. <laughs> A tragedy that's ending has its happy lining. You know, it's always good to see someone new trying to act. You know, it's a, it's a learning process with anybody and it's always fun to see someone put something, bring you something new to the table. I mean, I kind of just know them as actors and it's been really fun just getting to know them and they've been working really hard. This one has, has got a great team atmosphere about it. This is a team effort as much as anything that happens over on the, uh, the hardwood at the McCarthy Center. Is. The final act there means it's almost time for the opening one here.